this fifth um, problem I'm going to solve for um, conversion between rectangular um, and um, cylindrical coordinates okay so in a vector a vector can be expressed in um, three forms the rectangular cylindrical and also the third one is the cylind uh, spherical spherical will be discussed in problem number six so um, you okay let's start with our problem a um, give the rectangular coordinates of the point C okay so you have the cylindrical you see the um, the point C is a cylindrical coordinates okay so or C is equal to is equal to um, 4.4 arrow um, plus or minus minus 115 a p then plus 2 a c okay um, so if you want to express this one in rectangular form in, in terms of a x a, uh, you need to get the uh, value here for ax uh, plus uh, ay plus ac so how do you find uh, how do we solve this like so this is x y and z so now we know that uh, for the spherical uh, you can draw your spherical here okay so you have so you have this point here so this is your spherical okay now the draw is actually if you look at the the top view okay uh, top view okay you look at the uh, so these are the axis so this is y x and z now if you top view so you will have this coordinate so this is y and this is x now the row um, the row is actually here okay so because uh, if you have a vector c assuming vector c is in this 4.4 um, let's say vector c is in this point this coordinate so therefore this one is um, let's say this is your vector vector c Okay, and then um, and then uh, so that's your C. Actually, the the this the, the length of this one is what we call the row. Okay, and then the angle here, what we call the P. Okay, and then the Z is the displacement along Z axis. If you look at the right, uh, this is the top view. If you look at the right uh, side view. Okay, so you will find uh, or um, right side or front side. So you have this. Uh, so this is X. Ah, sorry, this is Y. And then this is your Z. So your our vector here is located somewhere here. Okay, so this is your um, the value here. This is uh, Z. Okay, the length and the displacement along z axis so therefore we can easily solve for um, x okay x is actually um, if you notice in this case x is the cosine so you have um, the cosine of p is actually equals to the um, adjacent side which is x okay x over the hypotenuse which is the rho because uh, there's a drawing like this okay. this is the x and then this angle is the rho. now um, so therefore x is, is simply equal to rho cos p okay how about the y and the y is simply the sine the sine of p okay so we can solve and now the z is the same as the number number two in the um, <coughs> AZ. So therefore, C is equal to 4.4 cosine um, negative 115 
x then plus 4.4 sine um, negative 115 then plus ah sorry this is a1 plus 2ab okay so using our calculator and we can solve this one so using our calculator then we have this um, answer so so in this case the only important thing you need to remember is how to visualize okay from cylindrical okay you draw the you draw the drawing so drawing is the, uh, very important then afterwards you can easily um, solve uh, for the equivalent values and then let's solve for b um, for b is the reverse okay um, give the cylindrical coordinates of um, so this is d so you have a uh, negative 3.1 ax uh, plus 2.6 um, ay uh, minus 3a okay we need to convert this one in terms of the cylindrical now we know um, already from the top view that uh, we have the similar case no um, use this color so um, uh, given the sides uh, okay maybe the red ones so you have the um, it, it's a reverse so you have the x and y so you have okay so you have x and y so how do you solve for p uh, for the raw and then for the p okay so we know that uh, okay you can simply use this equation so you have a uh, um, cos p um, is equal to uh, actually you can use this equation but uh, there's another way of solving this we know that this is a right triangle we know that rho is the Pythagorean theorem of uh, following the Pythagorean theorem so you have x squared plus y squared therefore p rho is equal to the square root of um, negative 3.1 squared um, plus 2.6 squared then so you have your rho how about the p okay now we know you can either you can either choose having solve p or you can you can simply use the x and y using tangent so we know that tangent uh, p is equal to the opposite y over x then simply p is equal to the arctan of y over x okay which is uh, equal to tangent arctan of 2.6 over negative 3.1 okay and then the g is simply equal to negative 2 and the same as in the cylindrical so therefore d okay um, um, so we can solve for p here so having solved all of them then we can go for d so we have here the final answer for um, the conversion of the rectangular to cylindrical so very easy you just simply need to to get the top view okay and then you don't need to memorize these formulas okay yes for sure i believe uh, uh, you know the basic cosine the sine and tangent uh, trigonometric identities by then you can easily solve this and then let's um uh, so let's solve for c now specify the distance from C to D. So you have uh, um, uh, two vectors. Um, we have, uh, we can try the, uh, the colors. We can try the vector C, and then the vector D. So we're actually looking at the distance between, between them. Okay, uh, or the point, uh, the distance between point C and D. So. Um, how do we solve this uh, very simple it's like uh, the distance formula is simply um, uh, the square root of um, if you are using rectangular coordinates uh, which is better okay, to, to get um, to 
the soul for this dance. Of RCT. Okay. Um, what we can do is uh, we can, uh, there are many ways we can use the formula, the basic formula of distance is equal to the um, square root of, uh, you know, we have uh, x uh, t minus xc because, uh, and then squared plus uh, y t minus yc squared and plus y t plus uh, z and this will be z t c okay regardless if we change xc and xd or the d d minus c or c minus d is still correct okay so this is one way to solve okay um if you if you replace the values here using the rectangular form this is for um, for rectangular coordinates actually this is the easiest way to solve another one is to get uh, a vector uh, we can create a vector a t uh, sorry we can create a vector c d okay we can create a vector c d by subtracting um, um, R C minus R T, and then actually the distance is actually the magnitude of R C D or the magnitude of R C minus R T, and and not surprisingly, this is actually the formula above. Okay, this is actually the formula in the above. No? So you have x d plus x c. Okay, so the same. So if you notice, uh, so this one, this is the the one we're using in uh, plane trigonometry problems, and it's also applicable in uh, vector analysis. So if you try to solve this, so you have square root of um, x d. You have uh, actually regardless of either you have RCD or RDC because we're the only we are only concerned of the magnitude so we can replace this one this is a uh, 3.1 minus um, the negative of 1.86 then take the square plus uh, 2.6 minus the negative of 3.99 squared plus negative 3 minus 2 squared so the technique here is um, um, you can use uh, you maintain the negative sign okay um, um, because uh, sometimes you get uh, made a mistake with the negative sign so in this case this is plus okay so this is also good um, if you maintain this way of solving um, it's easier to review or to check no good for checking checking so if you want to review your answer before uh, submitting uh, for your exam so it's uh, you can see the mistake no? so if you use your calculator you will get an answer of 8.36 okay units mm -hmm. So in this is um, so we're done. It's very easy. Uh, rectangular between rectangular, and then the cylindrical. Okay. So in, um, so in the next problem, we're going to discuss about conversion in uh, cylindric, spherical, and then rectangular. Okay. So it should be the problem number six. So thank you so much.